Hello. Today I'm talking uh, not about uh, well-being uh, or happiness facilitation, but a very, very practical, technical aspect of uh, blogging. If you're watching this video, chances are your blog has been uh, hacked and redirected to a malware site. So, especially uh, in the first part of this year, many WordPress sites have been hacked and even some uh, main uh, hosting uh, companies so the company which sells you the web space you're using many of them have been hacked and passwords stolen and after the hackers got your password they installed uh, some script meaning some code within your wordpress blog and uh, if you visit uh, the blog uh, by typing the address in your browser, you probably don't notice anything. But if you search for your blog name on Google and click on the Google listing, then you get redirected to a malware website. So this is called the conditional redirecting. So whoever hacked your website, they put uh, a code uh, which tells to your own website to redirect people towards a malware, meaning a website with a malicious software, if they come from Google, or to just let the people go to your website if they type directly the address. Uh, this results often in uh, Google and some other companies, uh, even the browser itself, blocking visitors to your website. So they get a red screen saying like uh, this site is distributing malware. So if you visit sites with that disclaimer, it does not necessarily mean that the webmaster is doing that. It just means that he has been, he or she has been hacked too. So what can you do about this? The first step is to check your HD access file, which is a text only file, which you find uh, usually in the root, so in the main uh, um, directory of your uh, website. You have to see it by FTP. Once you find this HT access, uh, check that through the code and uh, if you see the malicious site mentioned or some strange uh, set of characters mentioned as a redirect, that's a part to remove. After this, uh, you need to search uh, for uh, our code malicious code around the website because even if you fix this problem if a uh, backdoor that the hacker used to get in your site is still there then it's going to happen again the easiest way to recognize this is if you notice websites uh, if you notice files which has a .php extension and very strange name in the first part of the file like name of people name and surname of people and you haven't written about that then it means that these are malicious pages and you may also need to check within uh, um, real pages uh, that uh, no code has been inserted there if you registered your website uh, with uh, google analytics and google webmaster and i suggest you to do so because that's a way to tell google that you cleaned up your website after you followed all these advices log in into your google webmaster select uh, the domain name which is affected by the virus then uh, go on um, diagnostics and malware and you're going to see some examples of pages which are affected by the virus or which were affected so this is not a comprehensive list it's just uh, some there are some highlights so you can see what the problem is and you can click uh, on uh, uh, submit the reconsideration request by doing that uh, google will spider again your website and if no virus is if a virus is no longer there then you're going uh, to be removed from the malware list of google and uh, if this does not work then you can also use the google support forums and ask uh, for assistance there and this uh, virus issue is very, very widespread and is attacking a lot of legitimate blogs. And we need to work together and share what we know about how to fix the problem. At the same time, of course, 
feel free to post uh, your website, the problems you found, but do not post any sensitive information like usernames or special configurations and so on, unless you are speaking directly, so not in a public forum, with someone you trust who will help you out. And every time you have uh, a problem or you suspect there is a problem, remember to change the password of your FTP multiple times so you make sure that whoever broke into your uh, web hosting company is not going to do it again. So good luck and unfortunately this happens but uh, you can also recover very fast from that and your site is going to be back on Google.